Cal Ripken Jr.'s induction into the Baseball Hall of Fame will mean a four-day pilgrimage for some Baltimore-area Catholics. Father Matt Buning and Went Touring of Owings Mills have put together a trip to the Catholic and baseball shrines of the Adirondacks. The Catholic shrines part of the trip is a regular trip, um, and it just so so happened that it coincided with Cal Ripken's Hall of Fame. And we said, we're in New York, we're near Cooperstown, let's do it. They just needed a priest who loved baseball, who loved Cal Ripken, and I signed up. So have more than two dozen area Catholics, including five nuns. We're leaving from Immaculate Conception. We're getting up early. We're doing the 6.30 Mass, and then we're gathering together and heading out on the bus. The first place we're going to go is Cooperstown. Try to avoid the rush and see it before the craziness really starts to happen. From there, we're going to move on and go into the North American Shrine and the Blessed Kateri Tekawitha Shrine, um, Native American uh, saint, a wonderful person, and they're very close together. The next day, we're going to go to the Divine Mercy Shrine, and then after that, we're going to head back on Sunday to the Cooperstown for the uh, induction ceremony for Hall of Fame. Father Matt says as a baseball fan growing up in Baltimore, he's always been inspired by Cal's commitment and dedication. Not only has he uh, done a lot for our city and, and the wonderful organization of the Orioles, but I think all of baseball owes him a great debt of gratitude and kind of being a savior of, of, of baseball. Cal says he knows his induction means different things to different people as he continues to work on his induction speech. You know, I'm not someone that lays it on thick and, uh, and, and over compliments, but at the same time you want to express your appreciation and you search for the right words to, to express your meaning. On the road to Cooperstown, I'm John Patty, WBAL News.